And it gives us the most accurate look at current conditions across the area. We'll have a look at that radar in just a moment, but here you go. The weather headlines, the front arrives tonight. That'll be some additional showers and a few thunderstorms, then drier for the weekend. It'll be drier in the sense we'll have no rain Saturday and Sunday, and it should feel just a little bit drier too. We still have the flash flood watch in effect. It's in effect till midnight for most of the viewing area, but from Coleman County on northward in effect till 9 p.m. As we check out the WVTM 13 live Doppler, as you can see across the area, not much in the way of coverage now. A couple showers south of Jasper and Walker County, a few more here showing up in northeastern sections of Hale County and a little bit in Bibb County too. One area of rain further south in Hale County continues to weaken as it moves southward. But up to our northwest, a different story. There are more showers and a few thunderstorms up here, north central Mississippi and back around Interstate 55. These will move southeastward tonight. Meanwhile, we also have some storms up in the state of Tennessee moving southward. Now, none of this is really tremendous. We're not talking about any widespread rains, but I think there's enough there to indicate that we'll get a few more showers and storms tonight. Rainfall totals on average will not be that great. I could see a brief downpour somewhere that may lead to some flooding and hence the flash flood watch being in effect. 80 degrees at 7 o'clock, 77 and 8, 76 by 9. All through this period through 10 o'clock, at least a chance of some showers. After that time, I think that chance diminishes pretty much. 20% rain chance tomorrow. We'll call it zero on Sunday, and it stays relatively low early next week, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, only between 10 and 20%. This model suggests that rain we just saw in Mississippi winds up in southern Tuscaloosa and Bibb County this evening. It has been overdoing things so far today. By midnight, the coverage much less, as you can see, and it pretty much dwindles overnight. So our Saturday basically rain free, and I think we'll get some clearing as we go into the afternoon hours at least. Saturday night mostly clear, and when you first get up Sunday morning, you may feel just a little bit of a difference outside. The humidity will be ever so slightly lower. Not much of a change, but just a small one. My forecast for tonight, some additional showers and storms mainly this evening 73 your low temperature 88 tomorrow clearing skies and drying out seven day forecast on Sunday should be a very nice day mostly sunny the afternoon high 89 same thing for Monday later on next week humidity gradually comes back into the forecast and by the end of the week maybe a few scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms guy and Lisa